Five, four, three, two, one. To white muslin. Go. Assalamu alaikum. Warakatulahi. Wabarakatu. My name's Junaid Rahim. And my name's Muhammad Yusuf Bashforth. And affectionately, we're known as the Two White Muslims. Assalamu alaikum. Warakatulahi. Wabarakatuh. Oh, another brilliant day. I know. Uh, well, that, uh, come on. Every come on. day. We don't tire of saying that, do no, we? No, not it's at every all. Every single day is a brilliant day. Yes. Yeah, if you don't believe us, get up, take a lung full of air. Yep. Just have a walk. Watch a sunrise. Just, you know, just live Smell a little. Smell a flower. Just live. <laughs> Taste some coffee. Yes. <laughs> have some you know, coffee. Just, you know, just live. Have a jam and cream scone. Scone. <laughs> This will be the thing that divides us. I you think know. it may be. It already has. I know it has. It already has. I know it has. I already, th- you know, I already, I already think you're a loser. Yep, I already think less of you. I didn't <laughs> think that was possible. <laughs> so, 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 How can you get negative <laughs> <laughs> thinking, thinking something of people? <laughs> I've no idea. I've no idea. Just be- oh. Sorry, there was somebody, somebody l- looking through the window, <laughs> knocking on the door as if they wanted us, and we, we're not really in a position to. Uh, to, <laughs> to, to I, I just, I just <laughs> shook my head. <laughs> I stopped, I stopped talking and just shook my you head. Shook your head. I just carried no. on talking in a. If I can't see him, they're not there, kind of way. But they started, <laughs> they started gesticulating. So um, I thought, I best, I best at least just say, well, no, uh, no, 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 another time, please. Oh, <laughs> crack him. Very good, very good, very Fantastic. Good. So, so uh, got a brilliant day ahead of us. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to every second of it. Brilliant as day. As always. As we as always say, br- and brilliant and day. I feel confident today yes. that you will have brought with you... We have a list. A list. We have a list. Okay, and I feel confident that within the next few minutes <laughs> we'll have explored... We'll have shared what that list. Maybe on that list. Yes. I am less confident that we'll actually cover it. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what we're like. Your pendulum we swings get, from confident to nil. We get talking about stuff. Well, it's true. Well, the it's stuff true. that's not on the list. It's true. And and off we go. Oh, off we my go. goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, so, I'll just, to get the list in there, to get the list in. Go on. Uh, we're going to look at pushy parents. Okay. And the, the amusing nature of pushy parents. There's something on viral, which is really rather amu- amusing. Okay, amusing. cool. I want to consider diary systems and to-dos. To do list, which does sound a little on the boring side. If your brain works like mine, and I know it does, don't really do to dos. This list is a bit of a challenge, <laughs> and then we never stick to it. That, that's a to do that we. It's to <laughs> don't. We don't. It's a to do. It's a to don't. <laughs> it's a to do to don't. It's a to do to don't to do. Oh dear, 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 dear. Um, oh look at a glitch. A glitch in, in the, the matrix. matrix. Yes. <laughs> Every time I Which hear that word. Which is basically Google. Google is now the matrix. I hear that word. Yes. I think of the matrix. Yes. Uh, that little cat. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Soft uh, cuddly toys, funny enough. Cuddly toys. It's something, uh, right. something else. I something like cuddly at. toys. Yes. Uh, the two white Muslims are again proved correct. Proven right. Correct. So guess what that one's about? Alcohol. It's about alcohol. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I want to look at an ink. Packed crater. Okay. Because you, like me, find these things fascinating. Yes. And they have found a doozy. Okay. They have found a doozy of an impact. Well, if I was to say to you, impact crater, what would you think would be big? I've seen a big oh, impact okay. crater. I've seen a massive one. Right, okay. So in Iceland. <gasps> right. And it was huge. And uh, what would that roughly? Okay, so... Uh, so diameter, so all the way across... 100 metres. Right. You see, like me, I would think that's big. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready. <Okay. laughs> <laughs> Cannot wait to tell you about this wow. one. Oh, my goodness. I also want to explore, in the nicest possible way, torture. And this is modern day. Mm. And it's one of those things where just, just the headline, it's like, oh, we can't talk about that. Yes, we can. Talk about torture yes, in a nice can. way. We're going to talk about it in a nice <laughs> I'm not way. Not sure how that's going to work. That it should be outlawed. It should be banned. Yeah. Uh, but there's a certain place on Earth uh, where it's advocated, and okay. you will not believe it when I tell you where. Okay. It's not the f- stateside, is it? It is stateside. All oh, right. Okay. It is stateside. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So we're just going to explore that. Yeah. And then the first time hang glider. 
Okay. The first time hang glider. Yeah. You think you're having a bad day? Okay. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> that Seriously, sounds like it. That sounds like a cracking is, list. Oh, man, wait, honestly, honestly. Cracking list. The hang gliding one. Wow. Wow. Because it's have, something did you have a do. bit of a flight. He had, a bit, a, he, had, he had a bit of a flight. A bit of a scary flight, it was it? was a bit of a baptism of fire, it okay. was. Yes, <laughs> yes. But we'll have a little chat about I rem- that. I've never actually done hang gliding. I bet you want to. My brother has. Has he? Yeah, he has, yeah. Which yeah. one, Rob? Yeah. Oh, wow. And he went uh, with a, a friend of his who's uh, a keen hang glider. Yes. And they, they went and, uh, and he, he got himself strapped into this thing and set <sighs> off. And he said uh, he had, he'd had no instructions, no, no nothing, and he was flying this thing, and then all of a sudden... It went very, very high indeed. Really? And he thought, well, I, I don't even know where I am now. Where's, where did we set off from? Oh, wow. Because it's surprising how different things look from yeah. above yes, yes. than they do when you're, when you're down yep. on the ground. Yep. So he, he struggled with his orientation, and he, he tried to turn this thing uh, in the best possible way so he was flying back on himself. Right, yes. Yeah, he got hopelessly lost, and when he finally came down, he crashed it. And he has narrowly escaped some quite serious injury. Oh, my yeah, goodness. Yeah, because he crashed into a tree. <gasps> yeah, and then fell to, to the ground. Oh. Thankfully, it wasn't a massive tree. Yeah. Yes. Or but, a pylon. Uh, but uh, do, do you know, that you, you've got to know what you're doing Absolutely. when you go. Uh, and you it's better to fly with an instructor. Yes. Or at least hanging from the same wing yes. of somebody who is experienced for a few times yes. before you get, until you get your orientation. Well, as you say, because even the training. orientation, because there are professional pilots yes. who, when they're told to turn, yep. let's say, do a U- what we would consider to be a U-turn, a 180-degree yep. turn, yep. struggle. Yes. Because it, it, it's you've, hard. You've no reference points. You've no reference points. You can't see. And even if you can see the ground, 180 degrees, how do you know if you've gone 170 or you 190? You don't. You know what I mean? And if you've gone yeah. 190, you only need to be 10 degrees off or 5 degrees off. If you keep going in a straight line, you're, going to be you're half a mile away, out. a mile away, yeah. five miles away, and exponentially... Yeah. You, you, end up, you end up hundreds of miles away. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But I'm also but reminded, uh, when, you, when, you, when you were mentioning that, it sounded like the Only Fools and Horses one. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you end up in France or something? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that bad? Wasn't oh, that bad? Golly. So, wow. uh, I, haven't, I haven't done hang gliding. I would right. like to. Yeah, me too. Uh, but I, I don't think I'd get the, the, the no. visa to do that. From the, the from, from, from the missus. From the Ministry of uh, Interior. Mi- yeah, Minister for Home Affairs. Minister, yeah. Minister for Home Affairs. <laughs> she, she wouldn't allow that. No. Uh, but I've, I have done microlight flying. Really? See, yeah. I would so want to do that is, more. This is a hang glider with an engine. Yes. And a propeller. And you sit in it. You sit in it. So in my head, it's a plane. It, it, uh, it is. Yes. To all intents and purposes, it a is a plane. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> It'll go to two and a half, three, four thousand feet if you want really? it to. Uh, you've got a uh, range of a couple of hundred miles. Wow. You can set off with a hundred yards of field and you can land on the same. Yes. It's amazing. I'd love it. I'd love it. And I went up in one of those and the instructor just said, right, hold the bar, you're now in control of the the, the microlight. Fantastic. And I flew that thing for about 20 minutes and it wow. was amazing. Oh, I'd love it. Amazing. Love it. So, yeah, yeah, microlighting, uh, you've, you've got to know what you're talking about yep. and presumably, uh, given that it's on this list, uh, yep, something yep. possibly yeah, went no, wrong. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you know, I'm looking oh. forward to this. So I, want to we'll do look. I want to do that bit first, if that's all right. I think we will. I but, think uh, we will. But we need to do some of this first. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi. Wa barakatuh. Do you know what? Yes. I, I, I fancy having a laugh now. Yes. Yeah. I, I really. I need. I need to. I need to either have a laugh or have a lie down. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Or, or Normal may, service may, resumes. Maybe even both. Yes. Normal service <laughs> resumes. Inshallah. Because you think you're having a bad day. Oh, somebody had a bad day. Oh, they? somebody's had a terrible day. <laughs> somebody's happened, had a person? terrible day. Well. Um, uh, when we did the the introduction of the list, you yes. mentioned that you know somebody who's gone hang gliding. I do, yeah, yeah. Yes. My, my brother Rob. Yeah, yeah. Did he enjoy it? Oh, I loved it. I bet he did. Up Even the, though up to the point where he crashed, <laughs> up to the point where he got lost and then crashed. <laughs> yes, but I bet he still loved it. He loved it. Would you like to do it? I would love to do it. I do you would know why? love to do it. Go on. Thermals. Yes. Do you know what? Abs- do you know about thermals? Yep. It's what helped them get out of co- colditz. It is, indeed. Yes. yes. Thermals are where you're flying along, minding your own business, yep. and all of a sudden you hit a, 
uh, a, a patch of warm air. Yep. And it, that's called a thermal. And yes. these just things happen just naturally. Yep. yep. And people fly around looking for these things yep. because as soon as you get in one, what happens? Straight up. Straight up. Yes. Yeah. Literally. No missing. You are straight, straight up. up. So and that's how hang gliders you can, stay up in you the air. You can go a very, very long way up. Yep. Because uh, a hang glider right is thing. always going to be coming down. Yes. Always going to be coming yes. down because it's 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 not pow- always going to be coming down. And so they yes. have to find these thermals to go back up. Go back up. And then they spiral back down again. Yep. Find a thermal, go up. Yep. Spiral, spiral, spiral. Amazing. It's incredible. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Incredible. So yeah, so th- thermal, thermals. <laughs> yeah, that's th- it. Thermals. That that's what thermals that are. That's is what they do. How hang gliding works. So, um, uh, so uh, I I, I want to do this. I yes. want to try it. Me too. Yeah. Me I want to. I want to be able to catch a thermal and, and yep. uh, for it to take me up higher. Uh, I yes. want to experience that. Yep. But I want to experience the float down. The, yeah. the action of feeling like you are flying. Flying, because you are. Can you imagine? Yes. And there's no engine sound. Nope. It's, it's just all f- just still. Be amazing. Tranquil. Yeah. Beautiful. Phenomenal. And I tell you, when you get into a position like that, because I have floated down to earth from 5,000 feet. Wow. With a parachute above my head. Yeah. yeah. Having free fall, uh, f- free falling <gasps> wow. for, for a minute. And jumped out of yeah. the plane. Yeah. Free falling for a minute, and then wow. a chute opens, and you've got a five minute float down 5,000 feet. It's yeah. incredible. I bet it is. Oh, and my the goodness. peace and tranquility. Or when you look up and you see that canopy above your head, yeah. you just thank Allah. Yeah, because that alone must you be quite think, a nice you sight. You just thank Allah, <laughs> and that is the the it's it's proof. Yeah, the, the, if you ever wanted proof that Allah exists, yeah. jump out of a plane yeah. and then watch your parachute unfold. Yeah. Yeah. That's Allah helping, yeah, absolutely uh, helping you not to die. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Uh, what a feeling! So yeah, I, I want to do this. I want to do the hang yes, gliding. Me too. But uh, I think you, you're about to put me off. Not with you? this guy. You don't. Yeah, okay. I want to do it because like, I've, I've flown a plane. I was. I, I, if I had the money, I would learn to fly a yeah, plane. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'd actually get my license. Um, we 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 jumped off. We kind of did parachuting, but where you you st- you start on the ground. Yeah. But it's at the top of a mountain. Yeah. Yeah. And so they get the parachute behind them. You're in tandem. Yeah. Uh, they say run you run and you run to the edge of a mountain and then the the thing the 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 the, the parachute lifts up yeah you lift up just before the edge of the mountain wow. and then off you go and i did that and child number one and child number two did that wow and it is just as you describe and then you come down maybe five minutes i don't yeah, know it's yeah, yeah, just yeah. amazing we've got video of it and yeah yeah pictures yeah. Uh, it's amazing just Brilliant. amazing so i absolutely love the idea of hang gliding I'm hoping it doesn't turn out to be like this. Okay. Because we talk about having a bad day. Yep. No. <laughs> Terrifying moment. An American tourist on his first hang gliding flight has to cling on for dear life after his Swiss pilot forgot <sighs> to attach him to the craft. Forgot to hook him on. He wasn't hooked on. Oh, my goodness. And me. if you think, when you watch them, the legs stick out behind them yes. because they're either in a little chute thing, yes. if you think about it or they it's, have it's like a big sleeping bag they have a, yeah like a big sleeping bag or they have a strap yes not this chap how did so, he hold on uh, it, he held on he said he just so he presumably said right run 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 went off and he wasn't strapped on. Oh, my goodness. He me. was not strapped on. So all of a sudden, he's hundreds of feet in the air holding on for dear oh life. Oh, my goodness me. Whilst this thing comes down, that praying. That terrifying. Well, also, it, it, it's something like there's a there's a two-minute challenge, isn't there? There's a two-minute challenge, and, and you can go to, to, to fairgrounds around the world, and they'll say, you know, a thousand pounds. If you can hang from this bar for two minutes, yeah, people yeah. go, how oh, old's that? I did yeah. it as a kid. Oh, no. Here we no, go. No. Click. No. Ten seconds and you fall yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. Because your hands are not used to it anymore. Yeah. They just don't. You, you probably put on a little bit of weight yeah. over the years. Yeah. Uh, and your hands don't have the grip. And it just says, a man who went hang gliding for the very first time had to cling on to a metal bar for more than two minutes when his oh. pilot forgot to hook him onto the glider. Heart-stopping footage has shown... And it is heart stopping. Wow. The terrifying clip from Chris Gursky's first day on holiday in Switzerland has been shared by the YouTuber after the fun activity turned into a near death experience. Whoa. That's horrendous. I would love to go hang gliding, but point number one, fasten me to it. That's just taken as a given. It's like I'd like to fly a plane from inside. If you're a hang gliding instructor. Yes. 
and you're taking people out on tandem rides. Yep. And this wasn't a tandem. Oh? This was his first solo flight. This is the issue. This was his first solo flight. No. So he said, off you go, kid. He goes, run, 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 jump. No. And he's not strapped him on. SubhanAllah. So this is solo, this. So how, uh, how did he get the thing to come down? No idea. Took him two minutes. Oh, Took him man. two minutes. That's horrendous. Uh, seconds that after launch, horrendous. Gursky realised he wasn't properly attached to the aircraft. For two minutes, he held on for dear life. Uh, oh, so I do beg your pardon. As the pilot tried to steer them to safety, I do beg your pardon. I thought he was solo. He wasn't solo. It was I do a beg tandem, pardon. then. Yep. Uh, describing the terrifying grip, uh, Gursky said, I looked down once and I thought to myself, hmm, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I don't think I'd have put it quite like that. Do you? V- very matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know what? I think oh, it's what? time to die. I think it's, it's death time. <laughs> death time. Death time! <laughs> oh my goodness! And, and so oh, now, no, no. to be fair, with the with the pilot next to, could you imagine the pilot? Oh, I'm sorry about that, love. Two minutes. Can you hang on for? Two? Just hang on a little bit. Yeah, just, you just know hold, what you hold people, tight. Hold yeah, tight. When you say to people, hang on, <laughs> he meant it. He meant it. Just hang on, love. <laughs> oh, all right then. Do you reckon? <laughs> just hang Shall on. I? <laughs> <laughs> oh my okay, goodness hang on. Yep. well the thought had occurred to me yes uh, oh god i'll tell you what what's the alternative yes Plum shake it yeah yeah <laughs> plumb it oh you mean those things that they keep strawberries in no no <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Close. my goodness. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's horrific. Absolutely incredible. Allah. It's like when we, when we talked about the, um, uh, what do you call it, the um, uh, uh, bungee jumping. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of, the, one of the first deaths recording on bungee jumping was not a bungee jumper. No, it was the guy that, it pushed, was the him guy that pushed him off. Because <laughs> they used to have to encourage people. Yep. And one time he pushed somebody and they went, oh, and grabbed him, yep. took him off. They were attached um, to a big elastic band. He wasn't. He wasn't. Mm. I only did that the once. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Woo! Do you still want to do it? I, I, met an, <laughs> I met an actuary once. Right. You know what actuaries are. Yes. Yeah. They work out risk and, yes, and, and, yeah. and analyse risk. They'll, and they'll use, at some point, the, the Heinrich Triangle. Which is the 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 p- 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 apportionment of incidence yep. and severity? Yeah. How often something happens and the severity of the claim. Yeah. So, as an example, life insurance in your life happens just the once. Yeah. So it can afford to have a big payout. Yeah. Whereas you know, key for where you lose your keys yeah, yeah. might happen a lot of times, so time. it can only pay out a tiny amount. Yeah, that's right. Yes. That's right. Uh, yeah, that's what. So this actuary came into our office to give right. us a talk, and I nudged <laughs> my mate and said, "Just wake me up when this bonus." Uh, yes. This, yeah. I, yeah. Right, actuary, the, the musical. This it is wasn't. Gonna, this is going to be a really big equation. And yes. I, I yeah. don't even do small ones. Yes. <laughs> so, and wait, imagine wait, the kind of person finished. that would need he, to be. You know, to, he stood there yep. and had his flip chart behind him, and he yep. turned his flip chart over. It was blank. Yep. And he said, "As actuaries." We've managed to work out that, on average, in the UK, people die once. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I might I'm, listen to this one. I'm going to listen to this one. The only trouble that we all have is that none of us know when and where it's going to be. Ah, yes. And he said, to, to be fair, if I knew exactly when and where I was going to die, well, I wouldn't turn up. Yeah, I'd just avoid it. <laughs> I'd just be somewhere else yes, that day, yes. and I'd escape that I'd one. I'd send somebody else. Uh, and, you know, the, the actu- he was brilliant. He was a brilliant speaker, yeah. and he had us all in hysterics. Yes. He, he was, he'd, he'd obviously had a script writer in to do it for him. Yes. Um, but then he went through the calculations of the mechanics of calculating, mm. calculating risk yeah. at risk of death wow. at certain stages in life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it takes into account hobbies and special <gasps> interests, of course. such as, do you go potholing? Do you go yeah. cave diving? Do yeah. you go skydiving? Do you ride a motorcycle? Do you fly other than as a fair-paying passenger? Yeah. Do you ride a bike? Do you yeah. do this? And, and uh, at each one of these hobbies, there is a hump in the, in the <sighs> mortality stats and the actuarial, actuarial table because people actually die doing this of stuff. Do. Of course they um, do. So, the, the, you know, these are extreme sports, aren't they? Yeah. And it's extreme in that it's actually really extremely 
extremely dangerous. Extremely <laughs> dangerous. What's so, extreme? It's extremely dangerous. Yes. But what's extreme, what's extreme about it? You your might risk of die. Die. <laughs> Your risk of death. Oh, yes, death is quite extreme when you think about <laughs> yes, it. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. Because those people that say, oh, well, life, it's, it's, it's not something we're going to get out of our lives. So I'm like, no, 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 no. There's still <laughs> steps you can take to have another day. <laughs> have another day. No, look, listen, listen. Right, I, and I heard a, a, um, a, a, a physician talking. And he was, uh, somebody was talking to him about uh, increasing your pace of your heartbeat. Yes. Uh, for health purposes. Yep. So, you know, you're supposed to vigorously walk or, or yep. run a portion of every day to, to increase your heartbeat up to yep. uh, so many beats per minute and, and then keep it up there and then, then allow it to rest and come yes. back to normal. Yeah. And he said, no. When your soul is breathed into the fetus, yep. a number of things are set. One yeah. of which is the number of heartbeats that you're going to have in your oh. lifetime. So why speed it up? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, actually, that's quite brilliant. And funny enough, I was Genius listening... thinking. Uh, I, I, was, I was watching a, a, a thing last night just about people actively seeking out challenging Danger. circumstances. Yes. Yep. And uh, what was his name? It was, a, a, it was a Canadian sniper record. Here we go. Uh, just trying to get his name. Uh, it was something like pa- pa- Pagamaweo, this name. Something like that, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Corporal Pagamaweo. Uh, uh, <laughs> but he was, uh, uh, he was, uh, oh, that's it, longest. Oh, no, it's not what that one. Uh, he, had the, he had the record for the number of sniper kills in World War I Ooh. at 378. Right. Which was more than any other sniper for any other country involved in the First World War. Wow. But he wasn't just a sniper. He was an observer, and he would wander into no man's, no man's land, and he would go down into the opposing trenches and stand with the soldiers. Whoa. Yes. And then he would find sleeping soldiers and cut off a piece of their uniform and take it back to his line. He almost did it for fun. And it transpired, uh, he was, um, well, they kept saying Aboriginal. Uh, I believe it was Aboriginal or, or native, uh, 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 native to, to some land. And as a child, he'd been given a small wallet-like purse type thing mm. and was told, this will protect you. You will okay. only die a natural death. Yeah. And he took that to heart and went, well, don't matter what I do then. <laughs> and so during World War One, he was a manic... And they would describe it, they were saying, you know, in, in any war, if we're talking about soldiers, uh, we have those that do what's required of them, yeah. and there are those that do above and beyond. Yes. And he went above and beyond that. That, yes. And he was just extraordinary. Like I say, he just used to go into foreign trenches and just stand with the such to see if he could. Wow. <laughs> I mean, what? Unbelievable. Absolutely extraordinary. But it was Great all wish. the faith and belief death wish. Death wish. In, in his particular deity saying... No, I am protected. I am yep. protected. And he took it to another level. Amazing. Don't know why I'm talking about that. No, do I. It's closer to a break. Uh, 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 very, very close <laughs> to a break. In fact, do you know how close? <laughs> this close. This close. <laughs> Assalamualaikum. alaikum. Warakbatulahi. Wabarakatu. Do you know, I love our breaks. Yes. Love them. Because yeah. it, it gives your brain time to kind of uh, to recoup. Absolutely. Do you know, nobody knows how difficult this is. I know. And, I know. and until and, you come on live radio. Yep. And, uh, and uh, y- y- the, the mic live sign comes on. Yes. And that's it. That's, that's your sign. And your you have sole to focus speak. is on speaking. Yep. And, get, and, and not, and not and, swearing. And getting it right. And getting it right. <laughs> speaking, uh, not going off on one, and not yep. just blanking. Which you know, which is what I would expect my brain to do, and it never does. No, no, Alhamdulillah. No. You know what I mean? <laughs> and by the way, this is not us complaining. No, uh, not complaining. We absolutely love it. We love it. Love, love it. We're not with these people. Going, oh, it's such a hard life. No, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. But it's remarkably tiring. It is. It's weird. Yeah. So you'll have like a, a, a 10, 15 minute chat conversation yep. as we do. Yeah. And then you know we'll we'll go to a break or stick in a sheet on or whatever yep. it might be, and just go. <sighs> Because <laughs> the human brain is not used to focusing for that length of time. That's right. You phase in and out. Yeah. You you go in and out of and it's a, of consciousness, not of consciousness, <laughs> of awareness, of awareness. It's like when you're driving. Sometimes yeah. you'll be driving and you're suddenly oh, go, autopilot. Oh, oh how, 
how, how did I get you end up seven in miles up the M1? You have no idea you know how I mean? you got there. Um, and it's just because you, you've, you've, you've drifted out. But you yeah. can't afford to do that when you're, you're, you're filtering every word between brain and mouth. <laughs> and, you, and you're also trying to structure sentences that you're going to say yes. in, a, in a, a few minutes' time. Yes. Yeah. And when there's a and two then of you, you've got to react to what the other person's yes. about to say. And you structure it so that the other person can then feed off it and then you yeah, feed up there yeah, yeah, so yeah, that yeah. hopefully there's continuous... Conversation. <laughs> Come on, brilliant. And one, one person can say something and then... The other can finish. <laughs> so not that I want you to finish my... Sandwiches. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, so close. Uh, or sentences. So, <laughs> what was that from? That was from uh, Frozen, wasn't it? We finished each other's sandwiches. sandwiches. I was going to say that. Oh, brilliant. 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 Excellent. Oh, so, so uh, onwards and upwards. Yes, yes. Okay. We, we need to move on to this one just because it is mind-blowing. <laughs> okay. Uh, impact Crater. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love stuff like this. So when we say Impact Crater, yep. a crater... Created by the impact of a meteorite. A meteorite, absolutely. And a meteorite. The difference between a meteorite and a meteor. A meteor burns up in the atmosphere, yep. causing a comet-like uh, glow. Absolutely. People call them shooting stars. Yes. A meteorite. It becomes a right when it hits the deck. Absolutely. Yeah. So when, when people it say, "Oh, pummels I, the earth," <coughs> I saw a meteorite in space last night. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. What you saw was a meteor. Yeah. It's only a meteorite when it hits the earth. Yep. When it lands. So yep. this is most definitely so it, and it's a gotta meteorite. Be, it's got to be quite big. Yes. Because otherwise it would burn up in the atmosphere. Would have been, or but it was very know, big. Yeah. The, the shooting stars that people see. Yes. They think, oh, it's massive, massive. <clears throat> it's huge. Do you know how big those things are? <gasps> oh, no. Go on. About the grain of sand. Really? Yeah, it's that big. And that burns up. But it's it's it's, oh, it's, it's such, the trail that it's you see. It's the trail that you see. Wow. Yeah. And you can be you will be forgiven for thinking that's a massive yes. piece of rock. Yes. But it's not. It can be as small as a grain of sand. Wow. Yeah. And it's not sand, of course. No, no, no. As small as a grain. Yeah. Uh, but as small as. Wow. And, and it's, it's just a speck. The it's the it's the friction. Burn. You said it was the it's the friction of it coming yes. through the atmosphere. Yes. It, because wow. it comes in at such speed. Yes. And, you know, as, as you're aware, yeah. uh, the, the atmosphere is, uh, is uh, albeit gase- uh, gase- gase- it's, gaseous. It's gaseous. It's gaseous. It's gaseous. Yes. But, but it, it, it uh, presents friction. Yes. It presents resistance, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. So uh, something like coming in at such wind, speed. Even running through the wind, we have a challenge. Yes. But coming in at such speed... In, from space, which yes. is vacuum, yeah. into something which is, uh, which is presenting resistance. Yes. And it's still travelling just as fast. It it, it uh, creates friction, yes, which causes it to heat up, yeah, and then burn up. So it burnt up through coming through, the, earth's through the atmosphere, yeah. Because uh, I've, I've been yeah. watching my uh, aircraft investigation, which I love. Oh yeah, just about, just absolutely. just as you're about to go on holiday, just as about to go on holiday. Yay, brilliant! And I love them, love them. <laughs> and the, the one that was recently was you know when you see a plane taking off or flying. Yeah. And it has two trails coming from the end of its wing. One, yes. one trail from either wing. Yes, wing tips. Leaves, yeah, from yeah. the wing tips, from the very wing tips. Um, I found out what they are the other day. What are they? They are vortices. Okay. Vortexes. Vortexes. So it's like a, a spinning. It's where the air yep. disrupts at certain speeds. Yeah. And it's when they're coming into land. Okay. Uh, or when they're taking off. So it's at certain speeds, and the very. The way the wing breaks up the air, because it's like we look, we can't just because we can't see air doesn't mean it isn't there. Yep. If it wasn't there, we die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and as a plane moves through it, it moves the air. Yep. And the trails that you see coming off the wingtips at certain speeds, relatively low speeds, are what they call air vortices. And it's vortex created by the wingtip, and it's like a, so it's a mini tornado, mini tube of circulating wind. Mm. Uh, and these can go back anything up to five miles. What? Which is why when planes are coming in and they're, they're lined up to land, yep. they're not allowed to get within five miles of each other. Because, because of the vortex. If you go into that create... vortex, it can just throw you. Oh. And if you're coming into land, you're relatively low. Yep. And that's what happened on this uh, on, this, wow. on, this, on this on this thing and it, but it, so, so you can physically see the air there's nothing there in front of the plane and then on the back of the plane there's this trail and it's spinning do there. you know what atmosphere freaks me out it's incredible freaks me out it's incredible and they say that the atmosphere is so thin yep that if you imagine a balloon yes yeah the actual balloon material yep yeah that how thin it is yes that is like the earth and its atmosphere 
Oh, yeah. wow. So the Earth yeah, is massive, actually. and the atmosphere is all so in? thin. Well, this is what I'm thinking, because it's got to be gravity, or gravity-driven that holds that in, because space yes. is a vacuum. Yes. And, as so you know, wants to, if you... If you Nature abhors a vacuum. Yeah. So it, it but, sucks well, the thing it. is that if you, if, you get, you, you, if you switch on your hoover at home... Yep. Yeah, and put the pipe in your mouth. <laughs> you, you're going to exhale pretty quickly, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you are. I mean, not that I've ever tried this. No, not, no. Well, not today, anyway. No, I, no. I tried that last weekend. Because <laughs> I was thinking, uh, well, yeah, you just do. You do these things. You do, you do these things. You do, in moments. What happens when you put a fork in a toaster? No, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. No, That's no, incredibly don't dangerous. Do that that one, is a don't joke. do that one. We can't, we can't edit my don't problem. Do Sorry, that, that was a joke. Oh. That was a joke. Oh. But yes, so vacuum cleaner. So vacuum cleaner, when yes. you put a pipe in your mouth, you yes. exhale really quickly because yes. it, it sucks the air out of oh, your lungs. Wow. So why is it that space is a vacuum? Yeah, it doesn't right? suck the atmosphere. It doesn't suck the atmosphere, and it must be to do with gravity. Right. But then I thought, right, okay, so I can fool that. Surely you can fool that, because if you get a vacuum cleaner pipe, a yep. couple of miles long, yes. right, and hold one of it just inside the Earth's atmosphere, one yep. end of it, and the other end of it you take out into space, yep. why won't it suck the air out into space? Yeah. Like a giant vacuum cleaner. Yes. And when something leaves the atmosphere, it, it must create a momentary hole. Why does it not... Why, why doesn't it, not, why does it all it? just like follow it? Yeah. yeah. So when the first man went to the moon, or is the moon in our atmosphere? It's not in our atmosphere, no. is it? No. No. no, no, no. So when... Oh, Lord, no. So when they first went to the moon... When they set off and as they went through the atmosphere, why did we all not? Just if indeed they went to the moon. space. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's for a different conversation. It is for a different conversation. <laughs> but tw- uh, tw- twelve people have landed on the moon. If indeed uh, any. Oh, right, okay. If indeed well, Why would they lie about the other eleven? <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Is, 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 is what I can't get my head around. So they must have. They must, must have oh, changed. you know, the old moon landings and the video yeah. and the, the, mm. the film of it. Yeah. And do you know what I do find absolutely, absolutely fascinating? And I use this in my training courses. So, oh. right, uh, the pinnacle of human achievement, yep. uh, assuming it happened, yep. was perhaps Man on the Moon. Man on the Moon. Of course it was. Yeah, you know, the pinnacle of human yeah. ach- achievement. Uh, and then you say, so how many people uh, have, have landed on the moon? And they go, I don't know. One, go, actually, it's, tw- it's 12. Mm. 12 people have walked on the surface of the moon. Yep. You know, if, if, that's in your, if that's in your life CV, you've done all right. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, 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 yeah. as, as far as ticking things off your bucket list, out walking the, on the surface of the moon. Out of the entire human history, yes. uh, history of human creation, yes. you are one of only 12 people 12 to have done people. that. 12 people. Then you say, so they're obviously the most, the most famous people in the world. They're, they're, they must be household names. Their names just trip off our tongues. Name them. And, and people will say Buzz Aldrin and the other one Le- Le- Neil Armstrong Neil Armstrong yes. or as I once had uh, Louis, Louis Armstrong, Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think it to myself, myself. Oh, 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 oh Sashmo <laughs> <laughs> and Buzz Lightyear Buzz and I was on the same <laughs> Louis Armstrong with his trumpet and Buzz Lightyear <laughs> to infinity <laughs> and beyond <laughs> to infinity and beyond and the moon uh, what uh, but people tend to know Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong <laughs> yeah, that's and it. then it's used as uh, why because they were the first they were the so f- being the first is really important blah blah yeah, blah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but these are the ten no idea not a clue not a clue I can't even remember how when it was how that I can't even remember when it was Especially, you know, when you introduce yourself uh, and you say, oh, I'm so-so. They go, oh, yeah, what, so what are you famous for? I went to the moon. No, oh, I landed on the moon. Done. You're yeah. not Neil. And you're not... Oh, so are you the other one, then? <laughs> are you Louis? <laughs> no. Uh, it's, it's Brian. Louis. <laughs> You Louis. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, my God. Brian. Brian. I just love the idea of Brian. A, a Brian. I just love it. Astronaut called Brian. For Brian's out there, there is nothing wrong with the name in the slightest. Uh, but I had somebody that I worked with uh, a, a while back, and he was uh, uh, he, he was going to be he, – he may have become a stand-up comedian. Yep. So he had his book with him, and he was always forever writing things down. And he did this series of skits, which is where he'd come up as if he's got – a new baby in his arms, uh, and you know it, 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 you, you had to say to him, "Oh, oh, that's lovely. Oh, look, oh, look at that. How old? Is it? Oh, lo- oh, newborn. Oh, I love newborn babies. Oh, they're so nice. Oh, what have you named him?" And he goes, "Oh, we're so proud, Colin." <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh, you go, oh, beautiful. What a lovely, lovely newborn. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, fantastic. Oh, the best thing. Oh, it's having a newborn amazing. Oh, it's brilliant. What have you named it? Brian. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Cyril. Cyril. 
<laughs> Gary. Gary. But you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with any of these names. Nothing wrong. Nothing with wrong them. at all. But it just doesn't sit with a baby. Anyway. What's your baby called? Anyway. Brian. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute here. From we're, we're Brian. Strayed. We're straight. From we're Brian sorry. to we're straight. Impact we're Crater. Straight. Impact Crater. <laughs> Impact Crater. So, so. And Come we discussed this briefly as we do the introduction. Uh, You've seen an impact crater. Yep. What would I you have. consider to be a big impact crater? 100 metres. 100 metres. As and, would I. And it was massive. As would I, yeah. And deep. Yes. And I think about, as an example, um, if you go to France, you can see some of the shelling areas from the First World War. Yeah. And you can also see, which I've not seen myself, but my auntie and uncle went, um, you can also see where they, they mined, where they buried, where they, they dug mines yep. from the English... Uh, trenches under the German trenches, Whoa. filled it full of dynamite, came back, lit the fuse, stood back, and these things, and they, they, obviously they filmed it oh, because they, they knew it was going to explode. And these things are massive. Wow. And the destruction, and they're about, I would say, oh, 100 metres across. Me. S- similar thing, you know, yeah, massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Massive. Right. Impact crater. Yep. 19 miles wide. What? What? Exactly. What hit it? (laughs) Another Earth. It would appear. Impact crater. 19 miles wide. Was that the moon bouncing off? It must have been. (laughs) Found beneath Greenland Glacier. Crater appears to be a result of mile wide iron meteorite. But only 12,000 12, years ago. Really? That's not a long time. I know it's a long time in our life. But, when, you know, because I would have thought um, a mile-wide meteorite creating yep. a 19-mile uh, impact crater, surely that is one of these, when what they call a life-ending... Absolutely. Is it LEE, life-ending event or something? Yeah. That, yeah. that is... No, that's everything. Yeah. That's 12,000 years ago. Yeah. Because that... that 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 can black out the the, yes. the sun can't oh, it? Yeah, black yeah. out for some considerable period of for time. a very long time and if that happens vegetation die yep. people die the yep. earth cools down blah yes. blah blah yep. you know it's all it's all blah, 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 blah. It's, it's Armageddon like, wow it's Armageddon out of here <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah because Armageddon when they got in that space you just keep going yeah. in that spaceship no I'm not landing on thing I'm just go, I'm just gonna I'm, keep I'm, going I'm off I'm just gonna video it put it yeah. on YouTube yeah oh no they'll be nobody to watch it mm. um, <laughs> a huge impact crater has been discovered under a half mile yeah, thick. Yeah. Have to wait a few million years. Green- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Greenland ice sheet. Wow. The enormous bowl-shaped dent appears to be the result of a mile-wide iron meteorite slamming into the island at a speed of twelve miles per second. Second, yeah. Uh, as recently as twelve thousand years ago, the impact of the ten billion ton space rock would have unleashed forty-seven million times the energy of the little boy nuclear bomb. Yeah, forty-seven million yeah. times the energy uh, of Little Boy dropped in on Hiroshima in 1945. Yeah. It would have melted vast amounts of ice, sending fresh water rushing into the oceans and blasted rocky debris high into the Earth's atmosphere. Whoa! At 19.3 miles wide, the crater ranks among... It's not <laughs> me! Among the... 25 how do we not know about these i don't know the 25 largest known on earth and it's the first to be found beneath an ice sheet and i do know there's one i know there's one because it might be in spain or italy but there is a a a town built in it really so they've come and thought you know like uh like bradford yeah it's built in a valley it is and you can see across the valley yeah well this thing you can see across wherever you are because it's a uh, an impact wow. crater. Wow. Amazing. So, to be fair, but, uh, that wouldn't be 90 Amazing. miles, Amazing. Whoa. That's just incredible. So, incredible. Incredible. I incredible. Just, oh, things like that. Just, wow. 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 Do you know what? We, we got a bit sidelined there, didn't we? We did. Yeah. We did. Yet again. We've gone way, way Oops. over time. Oh, dear. Way over oh time. Oh, dear. And contractually, we need to a bit we're going to get hand slapped. Yes. We're not careful. We need to oh, do a little oh, bit. We're going to get hand slapped if we're lucky. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Back after this. Yeah. 
Assalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi. Wa barakatuh. <laughs> I'm just having a deja vu. Oh, oh, there we go. I'm sure I've heard that name somewhere before. <laughs> What's his name? T. Ruble. Oh, that name spells trouble. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, I like that one. Like that one. Oh. So uh, uh, as we as we um uh meander, meander on through, through meander yes. on. Uh, yes. <laughs> I love being proved right. We're always right. We're always right. Always right, especially on one particular subject. One particular subject. And what do you think that subject may well be? Alcohol. Yes. We're always right. Yep. In that What's the what's the level of alcohol that it's okay to to consume? Zero, nil, none, nada, N- nothing, nothing. <laughs> I struggled for another one there. Z- <laughs> I overstretched myself at a fifth. Nil point, <laughs> nil point. <laughs> yes, you yes, can't yes. have any of the stuff. Islam, one million. Alcohol, nil point. Nil point. <laughs> <laughs> so we're always right on that subject. We're always right and on we're that always subject. proved right. We're time always proved right. Time after time. We've been proved right yet again. Alhamdulillah. But this one in staggering fashion. Okay. <laughs> in sublime are we, fashion. Are we very, very right? We're very, very, very <laughs> right in this one. I like the sound of that. Oh, uh, and it's a lady... On an Air India flight. Okay. Absolutely. Why is it it always on flights? Uh, Well, that's the thing. That's the thing. So many of them are on flights. I have an opinion. I have an opinion. (laughs) Yes. Is it the the fact that it's a 24-hour bar in airports? 24-hour bar. As soon as people walk into an airport and you walk past them, no no matter what time of the day your flight's going, you'll walk past people in the... Pints in front of them. Drinking, drinking out. All manner of alcohol in front of them. And they're just like, oh, well, I'm on holiday now. It's my holiday, it's my holiday starts here. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. And, well, like, it does, but not in that way it shouldn't no. think about it. Yes, it does, because I always do that. As soon as my bags are checked in, my holiday starts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but, uh, no, a lady on an Air in- India flight uh, has just taken this to the next level. Okay. Um, just the abuse <laughs> that she's hurling at the Air India flight staff because they've stopped her drinking. And so they should. They're basically saying, no, not, not giving you any more. Not anymore. Not giving you yeah. any more. It's an Irish lady. Oh, right, okay. Uh, she's unfortunately not named, but it transpires she's a human rights lawyer. Okay. So she, a big hitter, yeah, uh, or in her head she is, and yeah. she goes off on one. And she is quoted as saying things like, I'm a beep international lawyer and you won't give me another glass of wine? To which the reply was evidently, yes yeah, and no. Okay. <laughs> or yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. A 50-year-old woman has been arrested for abusing Air India staff on a flight from Mumbai to London after she was denied alcohol on the plane. And judging by her outbursts, because it's on... Uh, video. Somebody's yep. very kindly videoed it. Oh, and I'm pleased it. they have. Absolutely. Um, yeah, there's a reason why they're not giving you any more alcohol, mm. my love. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh my God. The business class passenger, who is believed to be Irish, demanded to speak to the pilot. <laughs> yeah, why <laughs> though? Okay. After like, cabin crew denied happen. her al- another bottle of wine due to her <laughs> level of intoxication. Yeah, yeah. Due to her level of intoxication. Yep. Video shows the blonde-haired, barefoot woman who claimed to be a human rights lawyer swearing at crew, th- threatening to beep on them in yep. court and calling a female staff member an, and I hardly want to say this, but an Indian beep, money-grabbing beep, all of this oh, no. on video. On video video so she, and she then goes off on one saying i basically what she's saying is i my entire work is supporting people like you who is people like you what do you know what i mean how and dare she, she oh my goodness how dare the, she the rhetoric the vitriol it's absolutely that's dis- disgusting. disgusting now the question i have to ask is would she have said any of that were she sober if she would had not been Tank if they'd tank. have said, oh, I'm terribly sorry, but you can't have another glass of orange juice, would, would she, she have, have done that? No. Would she have said that? Not a Would chance. she have screamed? Would she have sworn? Not a would chance. Would she be just 
screaming and at the, the top. In the cold and sober light of day, she'll now be wishing that she hadn't done Absolutely. any of that at all. Absolutely. Because how much human rights lawyering is she likely <laughs> exactly. to do from now on? Can you imagine the, the, out there? the opposition just saying, excuse me, my lord, may I just, we'd just like to challenge uh, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the lady lawyer on, on a certain point, Click, yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. and she's swearing and screaming yep. at people of yep. colour because she, so, oh, so, yes, uh, yes. So I do all that on behalf of people like <laughs> you. Yes, oh, it's like, it's and you can just imagine saying, "What do you mean people like me? I'm an air hostess. That's what do you mean people like me? He's a pilot. Disgusting. What do you mean people like me? People. Oh yeah. my goodness! What a Sad. what a vile and repugnant. But, but yes. do you know what the, the, the alcohol? The, yeah. They say they say that uh, that alcohol brings things out of people. Yes, yeah, and, and it does. Yes, it brings the worst things it, out of people. But it brings but it out actually makes, in it there. actually makes uh, it makes uh, makes us. Uh, see what these people yes, actually yes. are. It, it removes yes. the filter. It takes away that filter. It breaks down the barriers. It, it, take, it takes the walls away. It, yeah. it uh, allows people to think that they can do or say whatever they want. Yes. But it means that they're doing or saying what they want. Yes. So what she is screaming yes. is what she thinks. That's her. That's her in uh, her raw her. state. In her, I like that. In her yeah. raw state. Well, do you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad it's happened. In that, that, in that, that regard, woman, alcohol, brilliant. That woman should never work again. <laughs> no, should not in work that. Again. No, not, not in, in anything. that. Not in anything. No. Yeah. You know, let's face it. You know that that. Well, there's, is, there's, there's ditches to dig. Well, yeah. I suppose there's roads, and she is Irish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those people. <laughs> Look the other. Um, yeah. Just ah. Oh. She, she can go off. She can go somewhere and start growing potatoes. Yes, I'll, I'll be happy with, with that. Yep. That I'll, I'll, I mean, I won't. Fine. I won't buy them. No, 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 not even if they were turned into Brannigan's crisps. No, <laughs> roast beef and mustard, the best of the best of the best. So, alcohol. How much alcohol is right? Zero. None. How much alcohol should people be drinking? None. No, not. A absolute drop not and anybody out there that's listening to this that looks at those people that do and thinks oh that's your no uh, no absolutely no not. no chance Walk, desist not and leave the area at all so have we made our point i think we have strongly enough yes in strong strongest terms possible yes now when we talk about drinking i would like to drink just not alcohol let's uh, go get a brew let's go get some coffee and tea, <laughs> shall we thanks <laughs>